Hello everyone and welcome back to another uh, wound up review. In this one we're going to be taking a closer look at a very very popular watch among watch enthusiasts. This is the Zin 104 ST SA1. It retails for just above 1500 US dollars and it's of course a German made mechanical self-winding watch. But before we get into the watch, let's uh, do a quick wristwatch check. Today I am indeed wearing my Omega Seamaster Diver 300 or just the Omega SMPC as many people like to call it. This is my personal everyday watch. So that means I wear this watch every day and I have done that now for about a month and I am enjoying this thing a lot. This has been a great purchase and I can't wait to bring you guys my uh, review of this watch. So let's take a closer look at the Zin 104. Its diameter is 41 millimeters. It's got a lug to lug distance of 47 millimeters and the lug width is 20 millimeters which means you have a wide variety of different straps available to you on the market both from Zin and from third-party manufacturers. Here is an example of an original uh, Zin leather band that works very well with this watch. The watch is 11.5 millimeters thick. It's got a fully polished stainless steel case so there's no brushing anywhere to be found on the case of the watch itself. It does have a few beveled edges like here on the lugs. So yes, the case of the watch is entirely polished. It's got a screw in crown which is signed with the Zin S. That in combination with some other factors of course gives this watch a very respectable water resistance rating of 200 meters. And on the front here you have got sapphire glass with AR coating on both sides of the glass. And then at the back of the watch we do also have an exhibition styled case back. And this glass here is also of sapphire but the AR coating is only applied on the inside. The watch has got a countdown bezel. That means that the scale is inverted. Now we will get into more about what that means and how you can use that. Uh, later in this review. The bezel action is extremely quiet. You can barely hear it and it has 60 clicks so one for each minute and it is quite easy to turn but also very solidly built at the same time. The case is also low pressure resistant which is basically the opposite of water resistance. It means that it is resistant uh, to going to higher altitudes so basically if you would want to maybe climb a mountain or go skiing, uh, this watch is low pressure resistant. It's got a very nice matte black dial with white details. The hour indices and the syringe styled hands have a loom applied to them. I'm gonna show you a loom shot right now. It does look very nice, it's super duper bright and lasts an entire night. We do have SIN's logo here at 12 o'clock and then here at 6 we have we have automatic in German and lastly at the bottom here it says made in Germany. The movement is based on a Celida caliber, it's the SW220-1. It's of course an automatic movement as you can see by the gold colored custom ZIN rotor with Geneva striping. The movement has 26 joules. It beats at 28,800 vibrations an hour. It does have the hacking seconds functions. It's also shock resistant and also a bit anti-magnetic. In terms of finishing, it has, as I said before, a custom gold colored rotor. It also has blued screws and it does feature uh, Geneva stripes. Now let's talk about the inverted bezel. Most bezels on the market have what my Omega Seamaster has in terms of the scale. That's just a normal basic 60 minute scale along like this, clockwise of course. But the Zin has an inverted scale so it does have uh, basically the same markings but inverted. 5, 10, 15 here, 55, 50, 45 here. But I do feel like the inverted bezel on the Zin it's actually more useful. So let me show you how to use the inverted bezel. 
Now there are two major functions with this bezel. The first one is countdown and that basically lets you know how long it is until the event that you set with the triangle. So let's say I want to know how many minutes it is until 15 past 4. So I would turn the bezel so that the uh, triangle is at the set time. And now you can very easily just read that it is 37 minutes until 15 past 4. Now the other major use or function, now this function will let you know what the time will be in a set amount of minutes. So let's say I want to know what the time will be in 30 minutes. You do this very easily by just turning the bezel with the 30 minute marker to the minute hand. And now I can very easily see that in 30 minutes it will be just about 9 past 4. So with the overview and specifications and everything done, let's take a look at my personal likes and dislikes with this watch. Starting with the likes and with its unique and toolish design. This is a very very nice looking watch. I love the design of this dial. The syringe hands, the loom is fantastic, the bezel is very useful. It's a very toolless watch, but at the same time, it is kind of vintage-esque. And at the same time, it's also modern. So the watch has got many different traits. Um, and I do like that a lot. It's a great looking watch. I also do like that they have finished the movement this nicely. You normally do not see a movement this well finished at this price point. I love uh, the gold colored uh, rotor. It fits the industrial design of this watch very well and the blued screws are also a very nice addition to that. This watch is also extremely comfortable on the wrist. I guess we could attribute that to its bracelet which does stretch quite a bit even though this watch is entirely new. And the watch itself isn't that heavy either, so it does feel great on the wrist. The movement is very durable, it's a workhorse, it is very easy to get serviced and it doesn't cost a ton to do so. It's also a very solid performer. This specific watch is doing about plus 4 to 5 seconds per day, which while this watch is not COSC certified, definitely makes it up to par with watches that are. Now my dislikes, uh, the first one is that I do not like this clasp. There's nothing wrong with the design of the clasp, uh, but what I do not like is the feel of it. It is a hollow clasp and feels kind of like a cheaper Seiko clasp. Um, so I don't think this clasp is fitting on a watch like this one. And I actually also have another dislike with this clasp, and that being the lack of micro adjustment. It does have three steps here, uh, but that is quite finicky to uh, do on the run and you know, it's, it's not enough. The watch does feature a diving extension, a very solid one, but at this price point I would have loved to see a, um, a micro adjust clasp, although that isn't that much of a problem. And I think that's about it. Those are my likes and dislikes with this watch. Um, it's a fantastic watch. I love the inverted bezel. I love its look, its design is fantastic. The bracelet is solid but at the same time extremely comfortable. The movement is nicely finished with the golden rotor with Geneva stripes and the blued screws. It's very well specced. It has also got a day and date function. I did forget to mention that but that is quite useful too. And if you are in the market for a watch of this price point, then I say go ahead and buy it. So with that said, I want to thank you guys for watching my review of this watch. Make sure to leave a comment down below regarding what you think of this watch. And if you have any questions, please feel free to also leave those in the comment section down below and I will make sure to answer those as fast as I can. And if you enjoyed this video, please also feel free to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in another wound up video. Peace out.